car you see every day. <clears throat> this is, look in here, it is a guaranteed Gibson Rusty Anderson Custom Shop 335. Serial number 68. I think there's maybe 250 of these things that they made. Uh, I think most of them were made in 2013. That's probably when this one was made. This one's kind of cool because if you look everywhere, like everywhere, this is some of the flamest maple I've seen on a guitar in a while. I mean, every last bit, the side, the front, the back, of course, the neck is not flame maple because it's mahogany, but it's a very, very beautiful piece of mahogany. Really tight grain, as you can see. And if you look, you can see that the binding has got a little bit of the bleed of the red finish, which is kind of what they do on a lot of custom shop guitars. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to do videos of guitars that most people don't have, you know, like. I didn't think I was going to have this. It's a pretty uh, limited production guitar. So that's what I'm going to showcase, stuff that is not out there in any great numbers. Um, why? Just because, I don't know, these guitars, I don't know, they're kind of a dying breed in a way. Maybe not so much this one, because they could always make more of them, but they have chosen to only make about 250 of them. Okay, well, um, what can I say about it? Uh, Rusty Anderson was, uh, and maybe still is, playing guitar with uh, Paul McCartney, uh, and he had a 1959 Gibson 335, and uh, Gibson decided to make copies of it as his artist-endorsed guitar, and uh, they copied it, I guess, really, really carefully to the point where I can't really see it in the headstock um, but the headstock is not totally flat. It's got a little dip in it, like uh, somebody got careless with the belt sander at the factory. And I wouldn't be surprised if Rusty Anderson's original guitar has that same dip in it. They really split hairs to try and get this thing just like the original, including any defects. I mean, they didn't really, I mean, this is like an age finish, but it's not an antique or relic finish. But it doesn't, I mean, look at, it does not look like a new guitar. And this guitar has, um, the previous two owners really didn't play it. I'm like the first guy to put any kind of serious miles on it. And I haven't even put that serious miles on it because I only had it a very short amount of time. But things that are kind of notable is uh, all the hardware is nickel. Uh, ABR1 bridge, uh, really light, kind of peaked tailpiece, you know, kind of with a gothic peak on the top of it, which is 50 style Gibson for sure. The other thing is the first couple of years of uh, uh, 335s had a long pick guard that extended all the way down to the bridge. The later ones, the pick guard cut off right at the bottom of the bridge pickup. So this is kind of what it sounds like. I'm playing somewhat distorted through my amp like I normally do to try and get kind of a blues breaker sound. This is the rhythm pickup. Or neck pickup. <laughs> Pickups, 
kind of crazy how it rings out like that. It's got really great intonation everywhere. Uh, kind of narrowish frets, not kind of like the typical Gibson Les Paul, Gibson USA frets. So they're a little bit more 50 style, which makes them a little bit more fumbly for me to play. Um, still though, you know, it's got kind of a medium tension guitar. It's not real super loose, it's not real super tight. Uh, yeah, and they really did all the nice details on it. Every piece of hardware on it looks just like an old guitar, really. Uh, yep. So, well, if you ever find one of these rare birds, uh, I highly recommend it. I think it's good. I think it's a cut above your, you know, regular Gibson USA 335, which is saying something because those guitars can be really outstanding as well. And I used to have a 61 dot neck, and this guitar is pretty darn close. One thing I can say about my 61 was it was a little heavier, and the neck was maybe not as deep as this. This is a little bit more 50 style, but not so much. Okay, well, thanks for watching.